Alan and Judy, if you take the blue line to O'Hare, you're still required to wear a mask on that train, but your flight itself will likely be mask optional now that the federal mandate is no more. The announcement from the Biden administration came as many were making their way through O'Hare. I'm a little bit dumbfounded by it because I still think there's plenty to be caught on airplanes. I think it's great. It's long overdue. Yeah, I think we've overreacted to this whole thing. Though the CDC still recommends masks be worn, the TSA no longer will enforce the practice. Hours after a federal judge in Florida struck down the government requirement for air travel and other public transit, concluding that the mask mandate exceeds the CDC's statutory authority. And on top of that, she said that it was arbitrary in reaching its decision and it didn't give sufficient reasoning for its decision. So she really hit this mandate in multiple different ways. But with nothing in the ruling preventing private companies and local transit agencies from imposing their own mask rules, CTA, Metra, and the South Shore Line still requiring face coverings. But many airlines, including United, American, and Delta, already lifting the mandate for passengers and employees in airports and on all domestic flights and international routes unless the arrival country requires them. Still, many travelers reluctant. I don't think it's too premature, but I'll, I'll hold off for my own personal. You're still going to wear yours? For a little while longer, yeah. Late tonight, Amtrak saying it will also lift its mask requirement. As for the rideshare companies, Uber and Lyft, it's unclear what they're going to do. Messages left for the two companies were not returned. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.